Halliburton brothers felt that their all-wing design was much more efficient than other planes being used at the time. Because it had no tail, the all-wing design had less drag, and that meant flying further with less fuel consumption than conventional aircraft. Knemeyer also came to the conclusion that an all-wing configured bomber may in fact be perfect for delivering a radiation-spreading bomb to New York City. When Knemeyer gave Horton orders for the America bomber, Reimer Horton was still working on his H-09 fighter. Even today, the images of these designs reflect the most advanced aircraft of the 21st century. The creation of the fighter plane was an evolutionary development leading toward the development of the America bomber, which was to be powered by six turbine engines. And the reason that the Horton brothers felt this aircraft would be able to reach the United States was that the flying wing as a design had no fuselage or tail assembly. This made it roughly 20 to 30 percent more efficient. And if they could design an airframe that held enough fuel, they felt that they'd be able to reach the United States, successfully bomb either New York or Washington. And to be able to return, perhaps not all the way to Germany, but at least to some friendly territory 